Hi, I'm Judy from House Melodies and I'm just introducing Ilza Pitterskluter. So uh, Ilza is one of the ladies that um, I teach and also does stand in for as a, a, a substitute teacher. So today we're going to be introducing the Jaro Kinesis full workout um, and those are going to be the ones that we're going to be putting on to 21 days as well. So we're going to first start off with your arms just by your side. Just closing your eyes just for a moment there, just pausing and going in within yourself. So just noticing where you might be holding tensions and just start a little bit of rocking forward and back just to get the movement going. And just noticing the awareness as you're rocking forward and back. And then slowly moving into a figure eight, so an infinity sign around the sit bones. And then figure eight can be side to side, traveling up along the spine. And then come to pause it for a moment there. And then open the eyes and just blink them a few times. You're just awakening. This is part of the awakening series. And with your shoulders or with your spine staying tall, just allow your elbows to come out and take your head back and just give your shoulders a bit of a squeeze into the neck. Just move your head from side to side just to loosen up what tension you might be holding. Come to pause that and then open up. Feel the space along the spine, the shoulders, the head as you move from side to side. Again, just a little shrug up and then head back. And then come to pause and then opening up. And just do one more, just a nice sensation to open up the neck area, the cervical spine, the throat, the thyroid, and then slowly coming out of it to release it. Now let's just bring both your elbows forward just to warm up together. So bringing the shoulders out, elbows out, and just releasing. Just allow the bones to move in the skin. So just allow shoulders to open. Just two more, concentrate on the elbows circling. And one more time to open. And then coming back to pause, placing the hands and then pausing that for a moment there. We're now going to move into your arch and your curl, basic arch and curl. So just lifting up through the sternum, breathing in. And then exhale, curl from the lower back, the middle back, the upper back into an even curl. Great, and again, come straight up to breathe in. And then start to curl lower back, middle back, upper back. For three. And one more to go, four. And then start to curl. Now moving that to the left side, so right hand on top of your left hand, and then coming up, breathing in. And curly, keeping it small range. And again, inhale up. More and the hard way, whatever breath works for you. Again, inhale up. Oh, just enjoy the moment of movement. And then curl to the other side as well. So moving to the right and then opening. Just noticing if you are sitting on both sit bones. Breathing in. Two more there. Breathing in. Exhale, curling. One more time to inhale. And exhale, coming back to the center, back to the center, breathing in. And exhale, curling. For two. We're going to keep it at four, move four counts all together. Three. Oh, just like a cat sitting on the chair, one more. And now coming to the curl, release the arms. Now we're adding on the arm work. So now we're going to spar the palms out, bring it up to shoulder height. And then scoop in, so scooping it in. And again, open. And exhale, curling. For three. One more, four. Now into a different movement with the hand. So scoop the hands out, flex the fingers, and then bring the fingertips into your pockets. Spread the fingers. Two more, breathing in. One more, inhale. Exhale, now bring the arms out and up to the ceiling. So breathing in, exhale, so keeping the elbows soft, baby fingers together. So making that big circle around. 
last one, breathing in. Now watch the change, and now we're going to bring our hands through the middle, so breathing in and release for two, three, one more time, four. Now we finish it off with one last one, just to pause, opening to a high knee, just to connect to the earth, connect to the heavens, and then slowly coming down to release. And then bring your hands into your thighs, closing the eyes for a moment there, just to pause and just notice any sensation that comes into the body. Notice if your lower back is softer, just so now your lower back to soften. And then opening up the eyes and then pausing it there. Now moving to the right side, so as you spiral, we're going to move to the right side. Both hands come around, so one hand on the outside of the knee, one hand on the other, other side, and do for eight pulses here. One, two, five, six, seven, and changing, and one. Seven, now try for six, and six. Three, two, and changing, and six, five, four, three, two. Now try four. That's four and four. Now two counts and one, two. One more. We'll repeat the twos, and then we're going to go into alternating. One and alternate and. Seven and eight, and then come back to pause to bring the heels of the hands together. So just allow the heels of the hands to push together, shoulders are down, elbows are strong. Now moving into your figure eight, so softening of the body. So tilt the pelvis just slightly, start to go to the right side, and just keep one. Let the head follow the movement of the spine. Now we take it side to side into a level position. Back to figure eights and side to side and Now we're going to change the movement, so from here grab hold of the right wrist, scoop it round to the side, now take it to the opposite side into a diagonal, hold that position, pull towards that side, so go a little bit over the knee, and then curl into the opposite side, so curl into the opposite side, come down to release that, now you want to have a little spiral to this, so hinge over, look up at the hands, and then pull the arms while you're curling back. And again, breathing in, and then exhale to curl. One more, and exhale to curl. Now let's change sides, so we go to the other side, so scoop up, hinge over the knee, diagonally, and then curl, breathing in. Ah, oh. and again, two, and then curl. One more time, breathing in, exhale to curl, and then come back to pause and just take a moment of ease. So just finding your space, finding your pace, working within. Now you're moving into your, your side arches, so arms are going to hang by your side. And we start by going towards our left and your right. So we're going to side bend towards the one side. Now as you stay in this position, the elbows are pulling to one side. Well, the arms are reaching to the opposite side. So allow this rib to come towards the hand. And let's alternate that. Six, seven, and pause it there. Now take both hands, place it on your thigh, scoop up and over. We go four counts, one, and then just release. And two, releasing. Three and four.
four, changing sides, and and three, and four. Now let's alternate the same movement, and one, and two, and four more. Let's go four more, four and five, and six, and seven, and then eight, you come back to pause that, place the hands, and just closing the eyes. So just finding a self-adjustment, finding where you can self-adjust, maybe the feet come a little bit more in, maybe the legs go a bit more out. And just taking a few breaths in and out just to find your center. And now we're going to move into your arch and curl series, so eyes open. And then lift the sternum up, breathing in, and then hinging the spine forward, curling to go back. So all the way back to come, all the way up. Again, arch. And then curling, breathing in. Sorry about that. And again, open, pull, and that high side. Now take it to the right to thigh. So right thigh, we go over the right thigh, and then curling to go back. Four and then hard breath. So feel the movement coming from your lower back as you're curling. Undulate the spine. Last one to the right and then moving over to the other side. So lift up and over. One. Four and then hard breath. Two. Last one there. And waving the spine forward. Now come back to center. We close it up for one. Turn back, open up, two, lower back, middle back, for three, last one there, and then four, to come back to pause, and then just take a moment of ease. Now just closing up the whole upper body, we're going to take the movement into a little circle, so really try and keep the head centered, we're going to shift the ribcage forward, Shift it to the left side and go all the way around, so circling within. So just bringing the whole body parts, top of the part of the body together. Three. And one more time, four. And then come forward to change direction and go around four. And three. Good, and two. And then one, coming back to the front, and then coming back to curl, just to finish and close the energy, and then slowly coming back up all the way. And just take a pause, closing the eyes. And then coming back to open, bringing the feet a little bit more in line with the sitting bones. We're gonna start with the one leg, the right leg, we're going to extend that leg out. Now spiral the leg and feel like it's moving away from the, from the space. We're creating space in the hip, placing that leg over, just giving the glutes a nice stretch there. So this is all part of the lower back, so just opening up to the lower back. We come up into a little curl, so in a curl. Extend that leg, but this time take it to the side, just slightly to the side where you feel comfortable. You don't want to be working too much into the lower back here and then going into a side stretch, just to open up and yawn the ribs, and yawn the ribs, yawn the armpits. And then coming back to place the foot, bring it up again. Now if you can, you're going to take your opposite hand, place it on the outside of the foot, and then give the leg a stretch and look behind. So just give the leg a stretch and look behind. And then coming back to place the foot. Now we're moving to the other side, so we're going to curl, extend the leg, spiral it away from the hip, place in the leg, and then up and over. Just feeling where you're creating space, where is it that you want to open. And then curling back, extend, take it to the one side, and then feel, see, and adjust yourself so the heel is aligned with your hip, and then going into that side stretch. You can turn your palm up to open up the shoulder. And then coming back to, bring the leg forward. 
opposite hand comes across, other hand on the side of the knee, and just get the leg to extend a little bit to spiral to look back. And then coming back to pause. Now just go into a little curl, and it's only if you can do this next one. So we curl back, placing the same hand on the side of that foot, other hand on the inside of the foot, just creating a little point, and your body can stay soft here, it doesn't have to overwork the lower back. So just by pointing and flexing, just pointing and flexing the foot. And what you could do while you're doing that is try to stretch the knee a little bit as you're flexing, release it, then stretch the knee as you're pointing, so there's some movement through the knee in a very gentle way. And then we're going to change sides. So the same arm, same leg. And then you're stretching the knee to point, you're releasing it. You're stretching the leg to flex, and then point, and then flex, and then point, and one more flex, and then coming down to place the foot. And then come back just to rest for a moment there. And then just allow the arms to hang. Your legs can be wide. In fact, I can stand to do this. Let's just do a bit of shaking. Head, shoulders. You can bring your body down. You can remember, you can do the standing as well. So just shake, shake, shake. Head. Those are the feet. Coming down, all the way releasing. And then coming back to pause and feel the energy. Feel that energy. And just slowly allowing that energy to release down. And that really doesn't take a lot of your time just to complete the whole sequence. I try to make it as short as possible. Uh, we could make it a little longer, but it is all your choice and you can take these movements and enjoy them. Thank you, Jean. Pleasure, thank you.